Did you hear that? He fell asleep. We are talking fine leather goods. Fine leather goods. Everyone has to have their own scent. And my scent right now is Ambassador by Old Spice. She can drink it out of this bomb mug. Noodle, what do you think? Noodle loves things that are mass market. He looked at this and he goes, handcrafted? Puh. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is the show where we find out what everyday items, everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. And this week we are featuring another one of the icons from our Icons of Our Tribe series, Nick Verma. Now Nick is amazing because she traveled to India one time and she fell in love with the handmade leather sandal that's popular there called a chapel. What she loved most about it was that it was made by artisans, it was something she felt good wearing, and it wasn't fast fashion, right? This was something that you buy, you break in, and you wear to death. And it lasts you a really long time. And Nick brought this idea over to Vancouver, where she lives, and she opened her own business, Chapel's Chapel. And we are so proud to be able to share uh, the box that she curated with you because anytime we can encounter an entrepreneur who truly makes stuff with their hands, I'm always the most impressed because I have no technical skill or creativity in that vein at all. Nick, I'm very inspired by you. I love the stuff that you make. I can't wait to get into this box. Also, Noodle is just like perfect right now. He's a perfect sleepy angel and we're gonna see how long we can make that last. The first item we have in here is from Lulabo. <laughs> from the Labo. Ooh, what is that scent? I wonder what her scent is. So the Labo is a very famous, oh my God, why do I keep dropping stuff? This is a perfume, it's a perfumery. So the Labo is a very well-known perfumery in New York City. Um, I can imagine that it's located a bunch of other places as well. Ooh, what's this? A little book, 26 removable sheets. So it looks like in here what we've got is we've got a perfume and we've got a notebook or a sketch pad of some kind. Ooh, it's a perfumed notepad. Nick, the taste. Oh my God. I buy my notepads from Dwayne Reed. So this notepad is actually scented, which is something that I've never encountered before. But what I think is great about this is if you wanna write like handmade letters, or you wanna write notes to people, or even, you know, just give it away as a gift, this is really, really special. Uh, this is really high quality, very well made, something that's not gonna fall apart on you. And she put a signature perfume in here as well, which I think is great, because everyone has to have their own scent. And my scent right now is Ambassador by Old Spice. I just ran to CVS to buy some because I forgot to put it on this morning. That was very jarring. And I went, what's that smell? Noodle, is that you? <laughs> no, it's me. Um, and if I had been to the Labo, I probably never would have even had that issue, but I did. So this is a beautiful scented perfume, an actual scented notebook. I always like the idea of having a scent just because you probably need other business professionals. And it's something I think that kind of elevates you. Oh, I smell like Rose 31 and that's amazing. And they remember that, that's gonna make a large impact on people. I think this is an incredible addition. You've got fine taste and um, I might steal this. Okay, the next item we have is, oh, it's just a pretty mug. I love this. I like this also because you can tell that this is handmade. Well, she talks about this all the time in her icons video if you get a chance to look at it, but she loves handmade goods. She loves supporting artisans and she loves supporting people who pour themselves into their craft and they're not afraid to put themselves out there to try and sell it. And I can imagine that this is exactly that product. There's a thing in the bottom right here. 300 gram bag of Ethiopia East Guji Sawa coffee bean. So what we know is that not only do you get the mug, but there's coffee that's coming with it. And apparently when we ordered this, it's so fancy that it took a very long to get to us. So instead of having it in this box, we put a nice little IOU in here. When you win this box, whoever chooses to enter, you will get the bag of coffee that comes with it. How great that she did that combination. A lot of people put coffee in their boxes. And I, again, I think more than anything what that says is that entrepreneurs, first of all, they're all human, right? And a lot of humans get tired every now and then, especially if you're running your own business. Um, but again, another one of these aspects, you can tell that this is probably local, this is probably a really high quality product, and it's probably something that is not sort of mass produced. And she can drink it out of this bomb mug. Noodle, what do you think? Honestly, Noodle loves things that are mass market. He looked at this and he goes, handcrafted? Puh. 
You give me something from Marshalls any day of the week, Noodle. Okay, we get it. All right, the next item we have in the Nick Verma box is, oh, this is great. Oh my God, wait, I wanna loot everything this woman. Oh my God, I might take this box for myself. It's a reusable string shopping bag. So this is really cool. I'm not gonna take it out, but I don't know if you can like zoom in on this or anything. String bag that you can bring to you to the market, you can bring it to the farmer's market. It's a 100% certified organic cotton carrier for vegetables and fruits. I can imagine that you can carry some other things in here if you need to. More than anything, this, again, it speaks hugely to Nick's sort of passion towards against fast fashion. Like this is something that you use all the time. This is something that's not gonna make waste. This is something that you're gonna feel good about every time you go to the grocery store and you buy your produce. You never have to waste plastic on those, right? That's not something, or paper for that matter. I love that this was included in this. I can absolutely see her in her pair of chopples, just walking to the market, breaking in a nice new pair of leather shoes. Bam, gotta get my fruit. Boom, gotta get my vegetables. Bam, and she's got a bag for it. I think that's brilliant. I love this. I really do think this is an incredible addition of this, and I can't believe that I don't get to steal this. Maybe I'll put Noodle in it. I wonder what the weight limit is. I wonder how tough these fibers are. Noodle's 25 very dense pounds. Okay, oh, oh, this is really cool. It's a one-year, eight-issue subscription to Condé Nast Traveler Magazine. Ooh, this is cool. So this is just a Groupon. So when you win this or you get this, you can go ahead and subscribe. So Nick is an avid traveler. And obviously when she was in India is when she was inspired to start her business. And how great that she sort of made this accessible. Because even if you can't get out of the country, like maybe not this month, maybe not next month, having this magazine will make you feel a little closer to the world around you, I think. And it's got beautiful pictures. And who does not love a coffee table magazine? Do you imagine people come into your home or your business? Oh, I wonder, ooh, is she legit? Oh, is that? Eight issues of Condé Nast Traveler. Oh yeah, she's legit. She's got the group on. And you can probably learn a lot too, right? You probably learn a lot about different cultures, about different things going around in the world. So maybe you can make a plan and you can go and find the next big international product to bring domestic. Or if you're like Nick, to Canada. Okay, and the final item we have in this bag, but keep calling it a bag, it's not a bag. I love that silk bag, cotton bag. Oh my God. <sighs> I love that cotton bag. Oh, these are draw. Oh, these are pens. Sakura Pigma Micron pens. So these are nice sketching pens. I can imagine that this is. These are crucial for Nick um, in her business with sketching out different designs for shoes she wants to make. Because she makes them all by hand, right? That's one of the best things about chapels is that these are handmade shoes. Machines do not get involved in this. You have to know not only what the shoe's gonna look like at the end, but you have to know the designs. You have to know all the steps of this is where you weave first. This is when you put the sole on it. I'm not even gonna pretend like I had any idea that happened. I think this is an incredible addition here, whether you are, again, whether you're a creative or you're just somebody who, you know, is, is working on product development, on packaging design. You know, if you're starting your business and you're selling your first product and you have to think of packaging for it, you might need to start somewhere, right? With your own design if you wanna take your own hand at it. And I think this is an incredible addition here. It speaks loudly to how much she cares about the design of her shoes, not only to the materials, but how they're made, the design of them. It's, ev it's, it's every aspect of the process she has control over. Did you hear that? He fell asleep. Noodle, we are talking fine leather goods. Fine leather goods. His hearing's going, so he's not gonna wake up. And we'll just kind of run with that. But that's everything. That's everything in this box. And I know I'm kind of grateful they didn't put eight separate issues of Condé Nast Traveler magazine in here, but I love the idea that they put a group on it. Um, I am so inspired by everything that I saw in this box. I really can't get over how much I love this bag. I think I might have to go buy one myself. But I think more than anything that this this really spoke to her day to day, right? This is, she's not only is she someone who like has this product and she makes this product, but she lives by these rules, right? This whole idea of it's not fast fashion. This is something that is durable. This is something that you're gonna be able to walk in and wear for years and you're not gonna have to worry about all the waste of recycling shoes, getting rid of shoes, getting rid of, you know, garments, whatever it might be. Um, you can tell that she really puts that into every aspect of her life. And she really is thoughtful about how she's impacting the world with both herself and her business. If you loved this video, please be sure to head to our YouTube channel
channel and like, subscribe, and ring the bell on our page so that you can get notifications whenever a new episode of Tools goes up or another one of our amazing GoDaddy series that we have coming out to you every single week. So, for myself, for Noodle, and for this unbelievable, deliriously amazing cotton vegetable bag, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.